It's actually like kind of a almost melee weapon. It's got a really short okay. range on it. I think I use it in the next stage here. Are we killing this purple armadillo now? Armored armadillo, yes sir. Wow. And <laughs> talk about original name. <laughs> just <laughs> just so you know, this this guy right here has probably one of the best songs in the series for his stage. The song is just awesome. I love it so much. I expect a full musical analysis, Ketro. <laughs> yeah, no, that's okay. <laughs> I'm sure it's... <laughs> we'll lose all our viewers if we did that. <laughs> We've already insulted away half of them, so why stop now? So we went from like four to two, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's an Easter egg right at the beginning of this map. This bat is a little bit different. <laughs> he, he's actually one, those. That's actually one of the bats from like the old school Mega Man series. It looks like the oh, wow. head of Jinx, like in Pokemon, and that's it. Just the head. Of Jinx. <laughs> oh man! And he looks surprisingly more. He looked like a real bat, actually. Yeah. Of, like these mechanical things. I'm glad we have the ostrich afro things back. Those were funny. Yeah, they come back. Oh wow! Now they're th shooting their heads at you. Nice. They did before, didn't they? I, I don't have, know. I, I might don't have pay killed them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still so shocked at the actual biological being that we've run into somehow. Um, Easter egg it's or actually no. not. It, they're still robots. <laughs> they just look like. Uh oh, more. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> There's no biology in this. Nope. That's good. Biology isn't your strong point. <laughs> what? Yeah. Why? Why are your colors constantly changing? I know. I'm switching weapons. Oh. Okay. Uh, you, oh wow. You sorry. You can switch weapons by either going to the start menu. Or you can use the uh, left and right buttons, and it just switches mm. instead of having to pause the game, which is what I usually mm. do. So, one thing I've noticed about this game compared to other platforms is it, platformers is it kind of has a nice tempo to it, a nice flow. There's a rhythm with all the dashing and the jumping that goes on. Like, it's a lot different than Mario or something. You know? Yeah, it's. Whereas when I play Mario, it's a lot of stop-start. This one gives more mobility and it's fun to play with. Well, it's a lot of it has to do with the fact that. I mean, I know what I'm doing. I know these stages really well. That too. But so, but yeah, this this is definitely a well-designed game. I think. I think the wall jumps add to it too, like that. Also makes it feel like the world's more free. Yeah, the wall jump was like a big deal when these games came out. Like that was huge, never before seen kind of thing. <laughs> I, yeah. I think I've just played these games so much that I'm so like desensitized to it that I kind of forget that it's there. I just take it for granted. That little cart riding section makes me feel really angry about all the Donkey Kong cart riding sections. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, the flame wave does a lot of damage really quickly, so they're nice for taking those things out. And we actually, in order to get that hard tank, you have to destroy the little, like, mole tank thing because otherwise it'll like chew the tunnel out and the walls are too high for you to jump. Can't reach it, nah. And here's something interesting. This is the what only the? point in the game where it there's so much happening at once that it slows down. And I found <laughs> out that you can only have three like little three of your little like shots on screen at once. So that's why I shoot them in like bursts of three, because it won't let you have more than that on the screen at once. Wow. It's just that usually Usually, whenever you shoot them from standing still, they disappear off the screen fast enough and you can just keep shooting them. Right. <laughs> but, the limitations of the Super Nintendo. Yeah, truly, the hardware, not up to the task. No. Okay, first things first, you're going to have to forgive me for being absolutely retarded in this boss fight. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's, it's been a really long time since I've fought Armored Armadillo with just the X Buster, so I completely forgot that he can do that. Um, every time you try to shoot him with your charge shot, unless it's like at a specific frame of his animation, he'll just like absorb it and shoot it back at you, like this. Oh, wow. Ah, yes. And please. if you just try to shoot your regular shots at him, he'll just block them. So he wow. ends up being kind of a long boss fight, and I, again, I completely forgot about this. So I was just like frantically trying to figure out my strategy right here. <laughs> the crazed rage quit count is up to four already. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. One for every time he gets hit when he spins at you. <laughs> 
I would have rage quit when I was with that little armor thing cutting through the stone. I would have died. Actually, interesting note, if you touch the spikes on the front of that thing, it will instantly kill you. Instant. Oh, well, oh, nice. Yeah. All the better. <laughs> yeah. So what? Which frame exactly is he using? Um, because I haven't it's exactly seen it. Right after he comes out of his like little ball, you can shoot him there, or okay. right after he shoots off that like big charge attack. Okay. I'm having bad memories of DK64 right now. <laughs> <laughs> I never actually played that. I played um, a little bit of it. Gotta LP time. that, guys. My my house. That's the next step. My house was a PlayStation house. Ah, uh, so we despised the PlayStation until I actually got some sense into me and bought one. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that was like a PlayStation Three though. You missed out on everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a two. Excuse me. Whatever. Then you bought. What was it? Ultimate Alliance, and then you quit playing games on it. Oh, you were gonna die, Zara. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I actually do die in this boss fight. <laughs> Because, like I said, I'm retarded, and I completely forgot how to fight him. <laughs> a better strategy for fighting him than what I'm doing, and what I actually do after I respawn, is to shoot him with just, like, your regular shot, not to charge it up, and to just keep spamming it over and over again until you finally get a couple hits in. Mm. But one way or another, it's a long boss fight, and it's kind of yeah. Annoying. It seems really, really tedious. Really, unless repetitive. you use his like his weakness. Oh, he has the weak gun or whatever. Yeah, but we actually weak don't elemental. Have it right now. Yeah. Now you said you said that you, this is like your only time fighting with the X Buster. What would you have used like if you were playing this by yourself and you already had different weapons? Like, what would what would you have used against him that would have been better? Um, we actually don't have it right now. That's what I figured, but like, can you <gasps> describe? Oh no! Um, it's we. I think it's the next video that we get it. Um, it's the electric spark. Is what you. That mean. makes no sense. I mean, if you played Pokemon at all, electric doesn't work on ground <laughs> ever. It's, it's just really offends me, that. to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Game is bad. Just, well. Yeah, I don't know. Like, Some of the weaknesses in these games really don't make a lot of sense, but... It's like Thunder Shocking a Geodude, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Thunder Shocking anyway, a Geodude. Sir. <laughs> Just laugh crazed and pretend you got it. <laughs> I think I think that's going to be the unofficial title of this video. Thunder Shocking <laughs> a Geodude. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Just, I don't know why, I just... I like the sound of it. Yeah, I played too much Pokemon, I guess. Craze didn't play enough, apparently. Craze didn't play any. It's your fault, isn't it? Thanks. Yeah, I guess so. Well, this is going better, sort of. A little bit. I kind of figured out that if you... Again, if you shoot a charge shot that he absorbs, and then hit him with, like, a half charge shot right, after, right as he's shooting it, you can do damage. So that's basically what I do for the rest of the fight. You're still taking a pretty good beating, though. Yeah, but I kind of... I get the better of him. <laughs> <Spoiler alert. laughs> yeah, <laughs> I kind of figure out what his strategy is, and I yeah, just keep doing it. That's good. If you would rank the bosses by difficulty, is he one of the harder ones? Or? Um, again, it depends he... on what weapon you're using. Just with the X Buster, yeah, he's probably probably one of the harder bosses. Are all the bosses after we finish these eight here? Are all of those considerably harder than the others, or not really? Um. What do you mean? Like the ones well, you... that we have left after this? Yeah. Um, who do we have left? Well, you said like there were more bosses after these eight, right? There. Oh, or right, yeah. Eight. Yeah, there's a few. They're... They're not... They're not a whole lot harder. Um, one in particular is really annoying, but other than that, they're pretty simple. That's not so bad, though. Yeah, not really. Just like, like I said, the one in particular is just it all. It every time I play this game, I can't stand fighting that boss. <laughs> I say so far that this is probably the at least the one that's taken you the longest. Oh yeah, definitely. So far. This is a long fight, no matter how you approach it, with the X Buster yeah. at least. Even longer than the mini boss. That one was pretty long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
that uh, attack where he spins into a ball and he jumps around mm. is really annoying. Not, I imagine. not really, because once you get the pattern down, it's really easy to dodge. He just goes from like corner to corner, and so all you need to do is like climb up, climb up the side of the wall when he hits low, and then drop down when he hits high. Mm. Well, that's why you're playing in <laughs> When I first played this game, when I was like really young, I thought the strategy to beat this guy was to stay up in one of the upper corners and like just frantically press the jump button to stay up in that corner as <laughs> long as possible, and my thumb was so sore. Shoot. <laughs> and I thought I was like a genius for figuring this out. <laughs> and it yeah. happens with a lot of things in childhood I've noticed. Yeah. But he's dead now, thank God. And he's never alive to begin with. Guess what? Pink Mega Man. What is life? <laughs> pink. Well we have pink, purple, green, blue. And yeah, it's a pretty good assortment. Yep. Don't tell me we just ended that with that line. <laughs> <laughs>